Antarctica. It is the coolest region of the world where there is six months of winter. And here is a cute penguin waddling on ice. Hello children! People wear pullovers, socks and gloves to protect themselves from the winter cold. But as you see, we do not wear anything. Moreover, we do not have shoes to wear either. But we can walk on ice without losing balance or feeling cold. These penguins are going to the place where a big group will come together. Their journey will take weeks. The distance they need to cover is more than 100 kilometers, or more than half of a mile. Therefore, they advance by either walking or sliding on their bodies. Miraculously, they all As a result of this journey, thousands of penguins meet, amazingly, at a certain point. See you later! Did you know that the number of penguins in a group may at times be 400,000? These pretty creatures perceive that winter is coming and agree on a place to go. Why should so many penguins all together do such a thing? For the answer, just continue watching the film. We're in trouble. Ouch! The place where the big meeting will take place is also where penguins will lay their eggs. This arduous journey is merely the beginning of the self-sacrifices undertaken and the difficulties encountered by penguins for their young. The most difficult part is after the mother penguin lays her egg. That is because, shortly after the mother lays her egg, the tough polar winter begins. During the months of winter, the temperature can be as low as minus 50 degrees Celsius or minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Cold winds reaching speeds of 100 kilometers per hour hurl ice and snow. Penguins leave eggs to their males and return to the sea. Self-sacrificing fathers undertake the job of caring for the eggs. Fathers put it on top of their feet. His feathers will protect the egg from the cold. This is quite a tough period.
children. Note that the egg would freeze if it fell on the ice. Therefore, as you see, male penguins always move very carefully. Male penguins cannot feed since they cannot leave the egg. In the meantime, mothers are far away from them, searching for food for their young. Determination is everything. Yes, this time I'll make it. Can you imagine yourselves guarding an egg at minus 50 degrees Celsius for four months without eating any food? If you attempted to do it, you would die from hunger and cold. But penguins make this self-sacrifice perseveringly. I think I've made it. Hello, how are you? After the end of four tough months, spring comes again. Eggs have started to crack open, and little penguins have come into existence. Since the layers of fat, to protect them from the cold, have not formed yet, they are still on top of their father's feet. The first food of the young is the milk that the father has preserved in his crop. Although the father has been hungry for four months, he made a matchless self-sacrifice and did not eat the food in his crop, but saved it for his dearly loved young. Then, the mothers show up on the shore returning from the open sea. They have not wasted time during these four months, but constantly hunted for their young and stored food for them. Once the mother penguins arrive, the fathers, who have not eaten any food for four months, go to the sea to hunt. As soon as the father penguin feeds himself, he comes back and continues feeding his young, together with the mother. I am back. Where is the food? Here it is. Come on, give it. All right, all right. Is that okay? I'll see you later. <laughs> Yahoo! This is absolutely a professional's work. It is time to eat now. Young penguins soon grow big enough to go walking along with their self-sacrificing fathers. Some people claim that an animal concerns itself merely with its own interests. 
This claim is also known as the theory of evolution. Founder of this theory is a man named Darwin who lived 150 years ago. Yet defenders of this theory can, by means, explain why a penguin resists hunger and cold for four months. Well then, who makes these creatures exhibit such self-sacrificing behaviors? There is one answer to this question. God created penguins. God teaches them to undertake these matchless self-sacrifices for their young. He has informed us of his mastery over all creatures in the Quran, which explains the essence of everything as follows. There is no creature he does not hold by the